quick overview of your client's list uh, and some, some of the options here. So um, first thing to notice is uh, these, these buttons at the top here. You can, as I said before in a previous video, you can manually add a client to your system um, and you can do it via this button here. However, we do recommend creating a program and then, and then inviting a client to that program. That's how programming is delivered to clients. Um, if, you, if you manually add a client here, um, they will appear in pending, and then you have to assign them a program to follow. That, so that's the process with that. The next button along is importing and exporting client data. If you've got a large list of clients and you want to still manually import them, again, we, we would advise you to use the uh, sharing program URL to sign up a, a large bunch of clients. Um, however, you can use that here. And exporting client data. If a client has expressed that they're happy for their coach that they are linked to to get their uh, name and email, then if you export it, you're able to export it there. And this button here, change highlighted program. As you can see here with Jane, she's following two programs. The um, system will do default to one. Um, if you want to change the highlighted program, depending on highest part completion, highest price, highest day completion, uh, you can do so and that will change the, the, the stats that I'm about to go and what's, what's displayed here. And then filters, you can filter by the type of program. Um, you have certain tabs here with your clients, active, full list of active clients. An active client is one that's got an, an, is active on a program. In trials, a client that is currently in a program where you've got an integrated trial, free trial in it, they will appear there. Pending, that they're sitting there and they're either waiting to join a program or they're waiting to be assigned a program. Past clients, clients that were active and then have either finished their program and they haven't got a new one or um, have a previously uh, following a subscription-based program and uh, they have cancelled and their subscription has ended or you cancelled it for them. To review, this will uh, segment and take all the clients that have effectively activity, which we'll come on to here. So you can see all the two active both have something here that need reviewing. If you want to quickly get to the people who need uh, something actioned on their account, we have a separate tab for that as well. Let's go through the, uh, the options available to you. So CLTV, client lifetime value. This is the gross earnings that the client has uh, pushed through your account. So a good one in terms of who your top clients are in terms of the money you're making them. Uh, they're making, sorry, they're, they're making for you. So obviously keep those top earners happy. Lifetime LT days, lifetime days, total calendar days that a client uh, that a, that a client has been with you and on your system. Mood and energy levels. So on a, on the client side, they are able to for every day record a mood level and an energy level, and we will represent that to you on this sort of sliding scale. And you can choose the time period that you wish, and you can change it. So obviously. If you've got green, as Tom here, happy client, great. Jane is not so happy. It could be an indication just to give them a message, which we'll come on to as one of these options on the right. Give them a message to see how they're getting on. The programs, you can click and get more information about the different programs they're on and the statuses and the lifetime value, etc. So you can do that. Um, completion percentage, this is a good one to, to, to review in, in, in conjunction with the mood and energy levels. So, the completion percentage. So these clients aren't completing their work, which isn't great. Um, but let me highlight this and I'll show you the different options. So you have a green tick, which is day complete. This is where the client has completed everything that you've set them that day. The amber, partially complete. That's if, say, you had a day broken up into three different parts and they complete one or two of the three parts, you will get an amber record for that day for the client. They might have missed one of the parts. The missed day, which these two clients are doing a lot of, is effectively where they are not inputting or marking any parts as complete on their training schedule. So a big red flag if that's happening. So you can imagine if you've got a lot of red, red crosses like this and, and a client who is unhappy, there's high risk of that client leaving your system. So you want to probably get in touch with them. Let me jump back here. Empty day, empty day, don't worry about that. And then, so you can see the one on the right hand side here, that's an empty day. And then this is an important one, the little green uh, circle in the top right hand corner. That means that the client has at least viewed the program. They've opened it, they've taken a look at the stuff and perhaps they're just not very good at recording their results. So if you've got a lot of red crosses but lots of green circles, 
or dots, then maybe the scenario is not too bad and maybe it's worth dropping a line and saying, hey guys, um, maybe record your actual performances rather than just looking at, you, at your work. Program lifetime value, that's an effect how much they've made you on that particular program. So if I open up the programs again to see all, you can see the lifetime value of the, the, the two programs. Now the group-based program is a free program, therefore the lifetime value is zero on that. And that also, the days is the respective number of days they've been on, on that program. Client status, we have different statuses depending on what's up with them. And, and these both are all good, but you'll see different ones pop up over time. Um, the action menu. So you can quickly send a one-to-one -one message. We've covered this in another video, but that will send a, one, a direct message to Jane and same with for any of your clients. The next button is add training. If they are part of multiple programs, we're going to give you the option to go to what program you want them, uh, you want to add training to. So if you want to add training to Jane's on the bespoke programming, add training, that'll take you hot link you there. Same with the group based program, that'll hot link you there as well. And then the last button, we covered this in a different video, but the view activity. So if you want to view activity of Jane in terms of her comments, performances, etc., and reply and leave notes on her training calendar itself, that's where you go to do that. You have some more options that we've got via dot 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 menu. So you can invite a client to a program this way. So that's useful to know for any pending clients if you've got to invite them to a program. That's the way to do it. Um, you can cancel the subscription on behalf of the client if you so wish. Um, so if I cancel, you'll see different options. So you can cancel immediately, end of billing cycle. Um, so if I go here, and then you'll also have the option to refund. This is a 100% coupon was applied to the, by, the, by the client, so there's nothing to refund. If the option is available to re refund there, you'll, you'll have it there as well. So you can do that at the same time. So I'm going to cancel out of that. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, on the cancel of subscription, the client also obviously has the ability to cancel it on their side. And if they do, you will see a client status change. There is a uh, client cancelled, which is, it's just telling you that the client has decided to cancel. You may want to drop them a message and say, hey guys, is there anything we can do to, uh, to keep you on the program? The last option is mute client. If you want to mute performance notifications, for example, the notifications that are sitting in the view activity area, you can do so for client there as well. You can also click on the client name if I click onto Jane, and that will give you a list, and we'll be building this out in the future at the moment, that will give you a list of the programs and the history and the start and end day, et cetera, that that client has been on. But watch this space, because we'll be uh, adding more and more tabs here over time. So this is gonna be a very useful area of the system. So that's a general overview of the client list. Um, yeah, you can, you can sort by name, client lifetime value, lifetime days, and so forth. And remember, you can change the period of time that you can look on here as well. Any more questions, give us a shout on live chat.